Good evening. My name is John Talamay, and I'm honored to serve as a principal of High Point Regional High School. Welcome to our 13th year of presenting the Senior Scholarship Recognition Program. Before I begin, I'd like to thank a few key participants in tonight's program. Thank you to Janet Brummel, Karen Vandergroof, Kevin Finlon, and Kristen Jacketing for your countless hours of support and assistance to make this program possible. Thank you to our High Point Regional Board of Education, our Superintendent, Dr. Scott Ripley, and our High Point Administration and staff for your support of this recognition program. This year's Senior Scholarship Celebration is different from any other. We are missing the most important component, the ability to gather in person and see our seniors and recognize them for all their great accomplishments. We're missing the chance to gather as a community in person and recognize our donors for their support of our senior class. We are missing the chance to sit in a room full of people and as parents, see our sons and daughters honored for who they are. It's amazing how over the course of the last two or three months, how much we miss those little things, the things that maybe we took for granted, and all the things that I took for granted for sure. Thank you to our community donors, while facing unprecedented academic times, still made a choice to make a positive difference in the lives of our seniors. None of this will be possible without your generosity and your compassion. Thank you to our parents for walking alongside our seniors every day, especially since March 13th. And I do mean every day. As our worlds and our lives were turned upside down, you were forced to be in a completely different role. You're all amazing people, and I hope you enjoy the celebration of your sons and daughters. Thank you for your willingness to support High Point, and thank you for what you do every day for our class of 2020. To our seniors, thank you for being who you are every day. You're all shining examples and de demonstrated resilience and grit through a challenge that no other class, and perhaps no other class after you, will ever face. As you probably know by now, I am extremely proud of you. We have grown together over the last four years, and you make High Point what High Point is, because of what you give every single day and who you are every single day. You should be very proud of the opportunity to be here tonight and be recognized by the community. Enjoy the moment, even though it's a virtual one, you deserve it. You have made a lasting impact on High Point, and you will be missed. Class of 2020, I miss you greatly, and congratulations. Hello, my name is Kimberly Finnegan, and I am on the board of the Sussex County 4-H Foundation Fund. 4-H is America's largest youth development organization, found in urban neighborhoods to suburban schoolyards to rural farming communities. In Sussex County, the approximately 600 youth enrolled in 4-H clubs learn about one or more specific subjects, including food and nutrition, animal care, both large and small, horsemanship, science, home economics, and environmental stewardship. There are over 100 adult volunteers who support, teach, and encourage a positive learning environment for the youth of Sussex County. They strive to assist our youth to become competent, caring, and contributing citizens in the community. The Sussex County 4-H Foundation Fund serves to support the 4-H program in Sussex County. The foundation's largest program is its scholarship fund, which serves as a source for the 4-H youth to receive financial aid to pursue learning beyond high school. We are proud to announce that this year's recipients from High Point Regional High School are Mitchell Bove from the All-Star Rabbits Club, Madison Civiton from All-Star Rabbits Club, Cassidy Little, All-Star Rabbits Club, Madeline Miller, Summer Blossom Garden Club, and Travis Talamy from the Top of Jersey Beef Club. Congratulations to all of our recipients from High Point Regional. Although we will unfortunately not be able to see you exhibit your projects and animals this year at the Sussex County Farm and Horse Show due to the current pandemic, we hope your scholarship will assist you in your future endeavors and we wish you the best of luck as you continue your education this fall. Good afternoon, seniors and their parents. I am here today to tell you about the Arthur R. and Barbara J. Smith Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship we give every year, my brother and I, in honor of our 
parents, former educators who have since passed away. My mother, Barbara J., was a speech and language educator for 29 years at Sussex Wantage, and my dad was a former High Point superintendent for 22 years. Both beloved, passionate, loving educators and leaders in their own right. Both believe strongly in education and how an educator has the ability to inspire a community by inspiring young minds. We are very proud to hand our $1,000 scholarship, virtually of course, to Miss Brandy DiCarlo, who a person with exceptional character will turn into be an exceptional educator, we are sure. Congratulations, Brandy. Hello, my name is Justin Vandergroof. I am past chief and current president of the Wanich Township Fire Department, Beamerville Company. Tonight, I am here to present four scholarships in the amount of $250 each to Belle Caputo, Julia Dunn, Sarah Hamilton, and Caroline Reese. Congratulations. I'm here on behalf of the Denadio family to award this year's Brad Denadio Scholarship. Brad was a 1981 graduate of High Point who tragically lost his life in a scuba diving accident at the age of 21. While at High Point, Brad excelled on the football field, not only as a tremendous player, but more importantly, as a leader whom everyone looked up to. His strong work ethic and dedication made him one of the county's premier players of the time. We believe the two individuals chosen to, as the recipients of this year's scholarship embody who Brad was as a person. I first want to say what a trying time this is regardless of where you are in your life. People have lost their lives, jobs, and unfortunately, you have lost out in the final chapter of your high school experience. It may, not, it may be hard to realize now, but you will be stronger and more resilient having gone through this. Celebrate the good times you've had and all of your accomplishments. Don't be sad because when allowed, the celebration will be bigger and better than you could imagine. The first individual is a remarkable young woman. I believe she will graduate in the top three of her class with a 4.6 GPA. She is a member of the National Foreign Language, Science, Math, and History Honor Societies. She received both AP Scholar with Honor and the Capstone Diploma for excelling in AP courses. She was awarded the Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award from the University of Rochester, she, and she represented New Jersey at Girls State. She is a member of Student Council, Peer Counseling, and was Vice President of Key Club. She has made high honor roll every marking period since the sixth grade. She not only excelled in the classroom, but on the field, earning varsity letters in both field hockey and softball. She was awarded second team all-conference in softball and named part of the and Jack All academic team. In 2019, she received the Coaches Award for softball and awarded the New Jersey Rising Star Award. In 2020, she was awarded the Complete Athlete Award. She will continue her education this fall at an American University where she will be studying political science. The second individual when asked about was described as a true team leader. He started his wrestling career in kindergarten as a member of the Branchville Bombers. He ended his career at High Point with 142 wins, an incredible achievement. Individually, he has won numerous tournaments. He placed fifth his junior year and eighth his senior year at the New Jersey State Wrestling Tournament held in Atlantic City. He was named Outstanding Wrestler in both 2019 and 2020 at the HWS Tournament. He also helped lead High Point to two state titles, one in 2018 and the other in 2020, and was a member of the Iron Horse Wrestling Club. He will continue his wrestling career at Lockheed University in the fall where he will be studying physical education and special education. Not only an incredible athlete, but someone who unselfishly gave back to this community, he has volunteered his time and knowledge of wrestling to help out various clubs in our area. Iron Horse, the High Point Elementary Youth Camps, and the Branchville Bomber, Bombers Wrestling Club were lucky to have him as a mentor. He also volunteered for the Frankfurt PTA and the concession stand for different events. It is my honor and my privilege to award this year's Brad Denadio Scholarship to Grace Muselli and Billy Talmadge. Congratulations not only to you, 
but to your entire class of 2020. My name is Wallace Butler, and I'm pleased to make this scholarship presentation on behalf of the Branchville Businessmen's Club. We'd like to extend congratulations to all the award recipients and all graduates of the class of 2020 for a job well done. We applaud not only the efforts of the students, but also of their families and the staff of High Point Regional for encouraging and guiding their success. The selection of our recipient is dependent on five main committee members reviewing all the application regarding six specific criteria, academic achievement, special academic awards, extracurricular activity, involvement and achievement in volunteer services, and community participation along with leadership and finally, most important, an essay. We are sure the recipient will build upon his fine, well-rounded high school performance and will continue to make his family proud as he pursues higher education. It is a pleasure to present the Branchville Businessmen's Club 2020 scholarship in a total amount of $1,500 to Mr. Joshua Lukowski, Joshua, you will receive a letter with all the details shortly. Good luck and great success. Thank you. Good evening. The Branch for Rotary is an organization in the community that prides itself on service and giving back to the community. Our recipients for tonight's scholarships of $1,000 each are Ryan Frieda and Molly Van Stone. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Henyon. I am here to um, announce the winner of the scholarship for my son, Christopher Patrick Henyon's uh, Memorial Scholarship. Christopher was a high school senior at the class of 2018 at High Point High School. Uh, this is our second year awarding this special scholarship. We're recognizing somebody who has similar talent and passion for visual arts and digital design as Christopher did. Christopher had a very unique drawing style and he spent many hours during his teen years um, becoming a better drawer. He created drawings of anything from mythical creatures, cartoon characters, sketches of his friends. He drew on his um, bedroom wall and he later became very interested in digital design, computer science, and his acceptance into Pennsylvania College of Technology, computer science and game design program was really what was a dream come true. There's been several noteworthy applicants this year, and ultimately we have chosen one recipient who we feel possess a similar talent and passion as Christopher did. This recipient represents what the scholarship is all about, and we are very happy to be able to award it to uh, this individual. Congratulations to the recipient of the Christopher Patrick Henyon Memorial Scholarship 2020, Connor Dolan. Connor will be uh, receiving a check for $1,000 from um, the Henyon family. Congratulations, Connor. I'm really impressed with your work. Good luck in college. The class of 1967 Spirit Award is given to a senior who exemplifies the Wildcat spirit in every way. Tonight's recipient for a $1,200 scholarship is given to Andrew Mazaway. My name is Marty McPhee and I have the honor of presenting the Corey Jennings Memorial Scholarship on behalf of myself, the Jennings family, and the board that makes up the Country Girls Softball Tournament. This award was made in honor of Corey Jennings, a friend, a coach, and also a High Point graduate. Corey was big in stature, but his heart was even bigger. Corey was always there to lend a helping hand to anyone that needed it. I can honestly say that you may only come across someone like Corey or self-proclaimed the big hoss once in your lifetime. Corey may be gone, but with the help of the Country Girl Softball Tournament and the Corey Jennings Memorial Scholarship, we will help his memory live on. For our first annual scholarship, we have awarded two players, Grace Maselli and Abby Lazier. Both girls are great role models, both on and off the field, and excel in the classroom. Each girl will receive $500.
Congratulations. Good luck to Grace, Abby, and the rest of, of the class of 2020. Back in 1947, the residents of the Colesville section of Wanage Township felt the need for fire protection in the northeast section of Wanage Township surrounding Colesville. In December of that same year, the Colesville Fire Department was formed in the basement of the former Colesville Methodist Church by its men's club. Like any organization, we've had our ups and downs. Clearly, the darkest day in our history came in 1980 when a fire truck accident on Route 23 claimed the life of one of our members. Firefighter Donald Brink gave the ultimate sacrifice that day, becoming the third line of duty death in Sussex County history. Firefighter Brink died serving his community and others in need, and for that, he's considered a hero by his fellow firefighters. His name is forever a part of the National Fallen Firefighters Monument at the National Fire Academy in Emmitsburg, Maryland. His name is inscribed on the Emergency Services Memorial at the Fire Academy in Hampton Township, there's a memorial at our firehouse. There's a plaque on the fire truck that replaced the one in the accident. And lastly, this scholarship is named in his honor. If you notice, the scholarship is listed under his name and not the fire company name. He is the hero, not the fire company. Good evening. My name is Larry Bono. I'm the ex-chief and current vice president of the fire company. Usually I have people with me at this presentation, but during these times that is not possible. My words to you are always to be vigilant, be aware of your surroundings, and stay safe. This year, we are presenting two $500 scholarships. When we started this scholarship endeavor, we thought it would be, choosing recipients would get easier each year. But in fact, it seems to get tougher. So after a long discussion, it is with great pleasure that I present the Colesville Fire Company Awards, the Dollar Donald Brink Memorial Scholarships in the amount of $500 to Brandy DiCarlo and Sean Newmeyer. On behalf of the Field family, it is my honor to present the scholarship to two recipients in their name. The Field family with graduates from the class of 1994, 95, 99, and 2005 the family has a place in the history of the High Point community. Where the graduates of the 90s were before my time, Mrs. Kate Field, formerly Boyle, was a member of my first graduating class in 2005. Kate was an exceptional student and athlete. It's been several years since I've seen her, but a trusted and reliable source has assured me she is now an excellent role model for her students. In the words of the family, the recipients were selected based on their dedication to their own personal life goals, giving back to their community around them, making a difference at High Point, and being well-rounded students. They are proud to see that they are continuing the tradition of the high-level achievement from former Lafayette students. They wish them all the best as they take their next steps towards their goals. This year's Field Family Scholarship recipients are Taylor Grisback and Ryan Freda two exceptional students in their own right. Congratulations. Hello and congratulations to all of the High Point 2020 graduates and families. I can't imagine a stranger way to end high school than what you have all had to experience this spring. I sincerely hope that you're all able to look back on your senior years with a recognition that your challenges resulted in increased strength, resiliency, tolerance, and optimism. My name is Chuck Miselli. I'm a 1976 graduate of High Point, and I'm here representing the Four John Charitable Foundation. Since 1995, we have donated nearly $300,000 in scholarships and support to local charities in memory of our friend John Lux. John passed away in March 1995 after a short, courageous battle with cancer. John was a member of the first graduating class of Kittatinny Regional, who went on to work at FMI in Branchville. John and I played softball together in the late 80s. John was a very competitive and excellent softball pitcher. He was gritty, funny, and charitable, spending many hours volunteering for the New Jersey Special Olympics. This year, I'm proud to award a $2,000 scholarship in John's memory to my niece, Grace Miselli. Congratulations, Grace, and good luck at American University. I love you. 
Congratulations, Class of 2020. The Frank Keimer Memorial Scholarship was created to honor our father's legacy, encouraging future generations to be leaders in their communities. This year, we're giving two $1,000 scholarships to the graduates who demonstrate these core values. He believed in having an entrepreneurial spirit, engaging in the community to lead change, and giving back to the community they lived in. This year, we are excited to award these scholarships to two individuals that not only demonstrate these values, but my father got to see live in to those values. So congratulations to Madison Presti and Cassidy Little. Well deserved, girls. Hi, I'm Stephanie Liebel and I'm presenting the Carol Hahn Scholarship Award. This scholarship is given in the memory of Carol Hahn and it represents her commitment to academic achievement, community service and determination. This year's recipients are Charlotte Pagliaro and Samantha Palmasano. Congratulations. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Faith Healy and I'm currently the PTA president for the Frankfurt Township School. First and foremost, congratulations to the entire class of High Point for 2020. We're so very sorry how your last year at High Point is ending. Hang in there and keep your head up. Every year, the Frankfurt PTA selects High Point seniors that previously graduated from the Frankfurt Township School to receive a scholarship in the amount of $500. Congratulations to the following recipients. Devin Liebel, Charlotte Pagliaro, Madison Civitan, Lauren English, Alexis Lake, and Ty Ruvo. Your hard work, commitment, perseverance, dedication, and giving back to your community goes above all expectations. Keep your head up, continue to shoot for the stars. I'd like to share a quote with you all. Go confidently into the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. From all of us at the Frankfurt Township PTA, we wish you the best with all of your future endeavors. This is still your year. Congratulations to all of you. Hi, I'm Stephanie Liebel. I'm presenting the scholarships for the Frankfurt Township Education Association. Each year, these scholarships are given to students who graduate from Frankfurt and who are going into education. This year, our recipients are Lauren English, Samantha Palmasano, and Billy Talmadge. Congratulations. Next scholarship is from the Franklin Mutual Insurance Company. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Franklin Mutual has been in business since 1879, making us one of the most experienced insurance companies in all of New Jersey. FMI has been dedicated to awarding scholarships to outstanding students in Sussex County for more than 20 years. To date, we have given out over $960,000 in scholarships. On behalf of Franklin Mutual Insurance Company, I am honored to be able to give out two $10,000 scholarships to Alexandra Barkan and Connor Dolan. Congratulations on behalf of Franklin Mutual and best of luck to you. To present the scholarship from the Havens Bus Service. Locally owned and family operated, Havens Bus Service has provided transportation to area schools and organizations for several years. Headquartered in Sussex, Havens continues their tradition of offering one scholarship to a graduating senior who excels in the area of mathematics and who plans to utilize mathematical concepts in their future. Over the last four years of high school, this individual continually challenged himself with a rigorous academic course load. Calm, confident, a brilliant problem solver, ambitious, kind, and musically talented are just a few of the words that were used to describe him to me. With plans to study computer science at Rutgers University in the fall, this year's Havens Bus Service Scholarship recipient is Dylan Helbig. Congratulations, Dylan. Nestled on the hill between the mountains and trees sits a building surrounded by varying fields of green. An eerie silence fills the air. And yet, if you close your eyes and just listen, You'll smile when you remember the voices and footsteps of your time. All of the knowledge gained, the wins and losses, tears and laughter are forever ingrained in and around these grounds and in you. 
On behalf of the High Point Board of Education, it is my honor to present this year's scholarship to an outstanding young man who will leave a lasting footprint in the history of the school. Involved in a multitude of activities that show his diverse interests, this individual is passionate for music, playing a key role in the performing arts department. Academically, he's excelled in all disciplines. Curious, articulate, perceptive, inquisitive, and exceptionally bright, this young man has the respect of both his teachers and peers, not only for his abilities, but for his strength of character. This year's High Point Board of Education scholarship recipient is Samuel Orr. Congratulations, Sam. Hi, my name is Lindsay the Duke, and I am one of the assistant principals here at High Point Regional High School. Today, I'm here to represent the High Point administration team, and I'm here to recognize a very special individual who will be awarded the HPAA scholarship. When making our decision on which student to choose, we looked at all aspects of the student, from academics to athletics to school culture and beyond. This specific student has gone above and beyond to make their, their experience here at High Point a great one. They have demonstrated hard work and dedication, along with humility and respect. Their efforts have been recognizable and their ambition is one to be acknowledged. As a High Point administration, we are proud to award Joe Conti with the HPAA scholarship. Like Eleanor Roosevelt once said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So keep dreaming, Joe. Congratulations and best of luck in all of your future endeavors. Hi, this is Christina DiMatteo and I'm here on behalf of the High Point Educational Association to present this year's scholarship. Each year we give a scholarship to a senior that's going to school as an education major. This year, our scholarship goes to Brandy DiCarlo. Congratulations and best of luck to the class of 2020. Hi, my name is Christina DiMatteo. I'm here on behalf of the High Point Educational Foundation to award this year's scholarships. The foundation is committed to supporting the students and educators at High Point Regional High School. Our foundation consists of six members, which include Bill Kehoe, George Lista, Cindy Sajak, Alexis Horvath, Karen Kozlowski, and myself. Each year we run fundraisers, including raffles and an annual beefsteak dinner to earn money. This year, we're able to award two scholarships to acknowledge and reward students that are involved in community service and are positively engaged in promoting a better future for our students. This year's recipients are Olivia Westling and Devin Liebel. Congratulations and best of luck to the class of 2020. The High Point Football Club scholarship goes to two four-year players on our team that throughout their four years here have been the epitome of High Point football um, and they're both captains this year for us, uh, Travis Talame and Connor Lake. Congratulations guys. On behalf of the World Language Department and the Foreign Language National Honor Society, we are pleased to announce that this year's Foreign Language Scholarship recipient is Madison Presti. Congratulations Madison. My name is Fred Spages, and I am the president of the High Point Harmonizers Barbershop Chorus. Bill Orts was a charter member of the chorus since 1982. He also was the business administrator and board secretary at High Point Regional High School from its beginning in 1964 until he retired in 1993. He passed in December of 2011. The William L. Orts Memorial Scholarship is presented in his memory to a student who will be majoring in music education. This student has been actively involved in musical activities from marching band to the spring musical, concert choir, and the award-winning chamber singers. In high school, she has had experience as a student director for women's choir and small ensembles and plans to become a musical director at the high school level. It therefore gives me great pleasure to present the $500 William L. Ortz Memorial Scholarship to Alexis Barwick.
with a video camera, a DSLR, and a smartphone, this individual has found a way to capture the moments from behind the lens. The moments of learning, success, greatness, inspiration, remembrance, and reflection. You know these moments. You live these moments. The pep rallies, homecoming, wildcat days, field trips, dances, theater art productions, fill the bus, the blood drives, live event coverage, amazing previews, wildcat reports, the daily announcements, and who can forget the pandemic wildcat chats. I know you've seen your high school experience captured on live stream, on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. It was because this individual covered over 90 school and community events and shared over 600 tweets. These were our moments, your moments. The shots, angles, and movements of her camera revealed, recorded, and archived our High Point legacy. Our stories were told from behind the lens, edited into priceless and unforgettable memories. A singer, a dancer, an actor, an editor, and a student. A spokesperson, an ambassador, a creator, and a friend. Her ever-evolving, passionate experiences encircles her ability to connect with the world as an author of words, a trumpeter of wisdom, and a believer in wonder. That is why the 2020 Behind the Lens Media Tech Scholarship is awarded to Caroline Reese. Congratulations. For the last 10 years, the High Point School Store has granted a scholarship to a senior in the work-study program. Work-study enables qualified seniors to split their school day between classes and employment. Past recipients of this scholarship have demonstrated initiative, a strong work ethic, responsibility, and kindness to others. Over the last three years, I have witnessed this individual face and overcome various challenges through her own will and determination. When I met with her earlier this year to discuss her future plans, she expressed to me how valuable work study has been for her. I was struck by her poise, confidence, and excitement about the next chapter of her life. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient, Erin Shepard. Hi, my name is Kristen Walsh. I'm with High Point United Soccer Club. We are a organization that has soccer players go from pre-K up to eighth grade. We like to give back to our community and we'd like to honor two recipients this year from High Point High School with a $500 scholarship. One going to Zoe Tiger, the other one going to Connor Dolan. Congratulations, keep up the good work. The John Davey Memorial American Legion Post 213 Scholarship is in the amount of $1,000 each. Congratulations to Bryce Dunn, Julia Dunn, Ava Langenbach, Paige Stewart, and Nicholas Sicoli. Hi everyone, my name is Nicole Donahue. I'm here to give out the Joseph P. Donahue Jr. Scholarship Award. Joey was a 2009 graduate of High Point Regional High School. He was the captain of the football and wrestling team. Uh, Joe was probably one of the hardest working people I've ever known. Um, he would give anybody the shirt off his back, always had a huge smile on his face, loved his family and friends. Um, so our scholarship, we like to look for similar qualities um, in the candidates. And this year, the three candidates receiving our scholarship are Travis Talame, Ethan Billings, and Madison Presti. Great job, guys. Go Wildcats. I'm back. It is my honor to present the Judy Storms Memorial Scholarship on behalf of the Sussex American Legion Auxiliary. Past president of both the Auxiliary and Sussex Fire Department and Rescue Squad, Mrs. Storms was a lifetime member of both. Passing away in 2009, she is remembered as a loving wife, mother, grandmother, and friend. Both recipients of this Memorial Scholarship are compassionate, genuine, and hardworking. They both have relatives who served in the military and are involved with the Legion Post. As the school counselor to both, I've had the opportunity to watch them mature into two confident young ladies poised to enter the next chapter of their lives. I have no doubt that while finding great success in their future, they will continue to give back to the community in which they live. 
This year's Judy Storms Memorial Scholarship recipients are Kyla Sarapucciello and Paige Stewart. Congratulations. The Kiwanis Club of Sussex is a small organization that has a tremendous impact in our local community. Tonight, we'd like to present five different scholarships. The first scholarship is for two $500 scholarships, and they go to Brandy DiCarlo and Bonnie Dong. Kiwanis Club of Sussex also would like to present three $1,000 scholarships to Nolan Rowan, Paige Stewart, and Caitlin Wonder. Congratulations. Well, seniors, scholarship night, a bit different than previous years, but there was no way we would end the year without recognizing your outstanding accomplishments. Please know that even though you cannot hear it, every member of the High Point community that views this is applauding you. This year, one for the history books, but as time passes and you look back, you'll have quite a story to tell. Family owned and operated, Craft Bus Company began in 1942. Starting with just two buses, Craft grew into one of the largest private providers of school bus transportation within the nation. Since its inception, Craft was founded on and continues to follow these core family values. Open and honest communication, respect, and a passion for providing excellent service. Determined, musically gifted, bright, kind, and strong are just some of the adjectives that come to mind when talking about this individual. As her school counselor and supporter of both the performing arts and mock trial, I've witnessed this young lady blossom into a strong, confident force, both as a member of concert choir and chamber singers, and as one of the lead attorneys in mock trial. Witnesses, beware. This one is a wicked cross-examiner. Although she plans to study medicine in college, I can assure you she'd also make an excellent attorney. On behalf of the Craft Bus Company, this year's scholarship recipient is Lindsay Polks Dennis. Congratulations. Good evening. I'm honored to present the Kyle McCann Memorial Scholarship on behalf of his family. Originally, Kyle had contemplated a field in law enforcement, following the path of his cousins. As he made his way through High Point, he continued to be more interested in working with his hands instead of taking tests and writing papers. He worked at Ideal Farms, TNT Fence, and Montague Dairy Queen all through high school, learning that hard work and dedication were critical to succeed. After much thought, he chose the same path as his uncle, godfather, of being in the HVAC field. Kyle attended Lincoln Technical School, where he was focused and determined even receiving the director's award. He knew the importance of school, but more so, he was excited to learn. Kyle planned to graduate in August 2019, work, and pursue his master's plumber's license. He set many goals, one which was to own a home by age 26 in Sussex County and work locally helping others. And for any of you that knew Kyle, he had a tremendous heart. He was always giving, always helping, um, had a huge circle of friends because he always gave of himself. However, God had other plans for Kyle and decided to call him home on February 20th, 2019. We still are broken and confused and think about Kyle every minute. The what ifs, the whys, it's something we won't understand here on earth. Creating the scholarship and giving to someone who is passionate about their future, using their hands and minds to succeed and accomplish goals is a representation of Kyle's anticipated future. As Alex accepts the scholarship, please let him know someone believes in him knowing he can succeed if he tries. Moving forward, Alex should set goals and dedicate himself to certification and never ever give up. Kyle didn't have a chance to achieve his goals, but his memory lives on to the scholarship. On behalf of our family, we just asked Alex to try his hardest and accomplish his dream, knowing he can and he will. When Kyle learned he was a recipient of a scholarship, he was incredibly happy. Although he was an, an average student and going to a trade school, he never thought he'd be considered. There was something about Alex that sparked this same thing in us, something saying he deserves a chance. As our family concluded, Kyle would find peace knowing we are awarding a scholarship in name of Alex Fletcher. Alex, congratulations. Hello, my name is Beth Sanders and I'm a teacher at Lafayette Township School. 
It is my great pleasure to present the Lafayette Township PTO Scholarship Awards. The PTO Scholarship Awards in the amount of $750 each are given to three seniors in the neighboring school districts who were once Lafayette school graduates. This year, all three recipients are from High Point. They've impressed our committee with their academic excellence, as well as their community involvement. They are members of multiple honor societies, maintain high GPAs, and each have several community and school activities that they're part of. We also see them back each year at Lafayette School helping with cake auctions, Tiger Chase marathons, trek marketplaces, and back to school picnics. Additionally, our recipients are dedicated to outside groups like 4-H and leadership positions in sports. The actions of our three recipients have proven them to be morally upstanding members of society, and it is our great pleasure to present the Lafayette Township PTO Scholarship Awards to Reagan Cope, Ryan Frieda, and Alex Foster. Hello, High Point Class of 2020. Hopefully everyone is faring well through this difficult time. My name is Kevin O'Leary of Lafayette Amateur Athletics, and our organization is pleased to award four scholarships totaling $3,000 to members of the 2020 class. I know this isn't the optimum format to celebrate the accomplishments of the class, but our organization is indeed proud of our recipients who have exemplified themselves over the last four years. All of the applicants for our awards were in the top 25% of the graduating class. Several, several of those students were actually in the top 10 students in the entire class. We are proud of their accomplishments on the field, in the classroom, and in our community. This past year, one of our founding fathers, George Sweeney, passed away and the family requested donations to the LAA in his name. This allowed us to offer two additional $500 scholarships to Lafayette residents who excelled at sports at High Point and provided service to the LAA over the years. Mr. Sweeney was a big supporter of youth sports and the impact they could have on the development of youth. The recipients of the George Sweeney Memorial Award are Ryan Frieda and Jillian Mulvoy. Ryan will be attending DeSales University where he will play soccer and pursue a degree in sports management and business administration. Jillian hasn't selected her college yet, but her plans are to pursue a career in environmental engineering. This year's winners of the 2020 LAA $1,000 scholarships are Kayla Anna Reveille and Reagan Cope. Reagan will attend Thomas Jefferson University to study architecture, and Kayla will be attending Montclair State University to pursue a career in nutrition and dietetics. We wish all of our applicants the best of luck in your future endeavors, and congratulations to the entire graduating class of High Point Regional High School. Thank you. Lakeland Bank has hosted its annual scholarship golf outing for 46 years and over that time has awarded over $2 million to local students pursuing a higher education. The bank strongly believes that access to an affordable college education is vital for a vibrant and economically healthy community. This year we are presenting $225,000 to students from 78 public and private high schools throughout New Jersey and Orange County, New York. It is with great pleasure that we are able to provide an award to so many well-deserving and academically successful students. Congratulations to the 2020 scholarship recipients and much success on your college journey. Hi, my name is Scott Shepard. I created the Michael J. Sconzo Memorial Scholarship in 2017 in memory of my best friend from high school. Mike was a member of the High Point class of 86, taken from us way too soon during our junior year. Mike was kind, caring, friendly, outgoing, and full of life. 
He excelled in the classroom and on the soccer field. And I am proud to be able to do something to carry on Mike's name and memory. Although these crazy and unprecedented times have prevented everyone from coming together for the annual scholarship dinner, I wanted to take a few minutes to congratulate all the graduating seniors. Although the end of your high school years did not go as planned, just remember, tough times don't last, tough people do. As you all head off to college, trade school, or wherever life takes you, always pursue your dreams. Try new things and don't be afraid of failure. I wanted to share a post I recently saw on Facebook. If you fail, never give up, because fail means first attempt in learning. End is not the end. In fact, end means effort never dies. If you get no as an answer, remember no means next opportunity. Always think positive. Each year, the scholarship applicants continue to impress me. The essay topic for the scholarship is pretty open-ended, and I thoroughly enjoy reading all the essays. There were many different approaches taken in writing the essay, and I reread them several times. The decision on who to award the scholarship to was a very difficult one. With that being said, the recipients of the 2020 Michael J. Sconzo Memorial Scholarship are Caroline Reese and Ethan Billings. Congratulations, thank you, and best of luck. It is my pleasure to be presenting the New Hope Counseling Scholarship for the very first time. New Hope Counseling Services was established to help meet the emotional needs of people in Sussex County. This scholarship is being given to two graduating seniors who have shown a dedication and interest in the emotional needs of their High Point School community. The first recipient is Isabella So. Izzy has been active in SAVE, Students Against Violence Everywhere, as well as an integral part of our freshman transition program activities. In between the activities, Izzy would show up in my office often and say, what more can I do? Our second recipient is Samantha Giotz. Samantha has been active in Pride, Peers Rejoicing in a Drug-Free Environment, as well as an asset to the Guidance Department in helping transition non-English speaking students. Both of these young ladies have shown a consistently high regard for their fellow students as well as the staff at High Point. It is my honor and privilege to present them with these scholarships as it was my pleasure to work with them as students at High Point. Best of luck to you girls in your future endeavors. Hi, my name is Kathy Rathbone. I'm the Executive Director of Pass It Along, and I'm here to present the Pass It Along 2020 Scholarship of Service. Um, Pass It Along is a nonprofit based in Sussex County, and we provide teens with leadership, volunteerism, and self-discovery. The following two recipients have exceeded over 500 hours worth of community service, and they have created huge events and solutions within their community. They have created such events as the Veteran Stand Down, where they bring in veterans that are homeless and, are lo and have low income, and they provide them medical care and food and clothing. They help the homeless in our area. They have helped uh, teens with mental health issues. They pro um, provide um, mentoring for inner city kids. Um, they've helped with so much and we are super proud of them and they have no idea how much they've changed someone else's life. They, um, they do this with such passion and purpose and we are very proud to present this scholarship to Charlotte Pagliaro and Sydney Hill and congratulations again and we're very proud of you. Take care. It is my honor to present the Perry Gorner Junior Memorial Scholarship. Every year, the Gorner family offers a scholarship in honor of their son and brother, Perry Gorner Jr., whose life tragically ended in an automobile accident. Perry was a member of the class of 1999. He was described to me as a kind-hearted young man with a zest for life, a wonderful smile, and a tremendous sense of humor. He was also incredibly honest and very kind. He had a huge impact on his friends' lives and is still loved and missed. Here's a story about a lovely lady who... Are you all singing the theme to the Brady Bunch now? Okay, but that's not her story. 
Although she truly is a lovely young lady who has a bright smile, is kind, funny, genuine, humble, and has the ability to both take direction and lead by example just by being a good person. On behalf of the Gorner family, it is my honor to present this scholarship to Brandy DiCarlo. Congratulations, Brandy. Hello, my name is Stephen Ray, High Point Regional High School, class of 1973. Ronnie Ray Barrett, my sister, was part of the class of 1967, the first graduating class from High Point. During the 70s, she taught health and physical education at High Point. She coached many sports and co-organized many extracurricular activities while there. After these events, she would often comment on the students who would be willing to help others either on their team or in their classroom. The Ronnie Ray Memorial Scholarship was set up to maintain her memory and to pass on the spirit she had for the school. To accomplish this, my wife and I donate a $500 scholarship to a deserving student. Each candidate must show the aptitude to help others, students, or be an advocate for the school and still maintain a respectable GPA. The recipient this year represents the unsung hero that means they do what they do so the people in charge do their thing and get the credit. I'd like to introduce Joe Samaglia as a 2020 scholarship recipient. I believe family is why Joseph has become who he is and his family needs to be thanked. I have not had the good fortune to work with Joseph at High Point, so I needed to enlist the help of people who do. The guidance department, the teachers, and fellow students all concur that Joseph inspires others, yet does not have to be in the spotlight. However, here are some of the things Joseph has been involved with at High Point. For three years, he worked on the eighth grade open house and the picnic along with the freshman orientation. His time on peer counseling and as High Point ambassador continued this path to guiding others. During his term as pride president, and as a member of the Wantage Township First Aid Squad, Joseph has opportunities to guide others to a better path away from drug use. Well, at the American Legion Boy State, Joe was elected his town postmaster and sat on the Board of Education, which doesn't surprise me. If that was not enough, he still had time to work at the animal shelter, help fill the bus for the school's food drive, and hold a job. Joe stated in his application that can't wait to see what happens next in my future. With his plans to enter the nursing field and starting at Sussex County Community College, he will go anywhere he wishes. Congratulations, Joe. So last year, after multiple trips to the podium, I jokingly stated that I was gonna start counting my steps. This year, I thought I should keep track of just how many takes I've done of these video presentations. I lost count. Making a positive impact on the community is a pillar of SB1 Bank's philosophy. Through their fundraising efforts, SB1 donates money to several local charitable organizations, including sponsoring scholarships to assist high school students with their goal of attending college. Although this individual is not officially on my caseload, I claim her as one of my own. Actually, I believe the whole department does, as she's assisted all of us in many ways. She's served as a peer counselor and ambassador, is an active leader in pride and a student tutor. Possessing a warm smile, she is bright, respectful, diligent, organized, and an all around awesome human being. This year's SB1 Bank Scholarship recipient is Samantha Giatz. Congratulations.
Hello, High Point. This is Chris Carney. I'm the founder of Skyline Soccer. Every year, Skyline Soccer gives out two $500 scholarships to graduating seniors who begin playing soccer in our recreation program. This year, we'd like to recognize two exceptional athletes, Reagan Cope and Madison Presti. Reagan started her career with Skylands playing at the recreation level. She played soccer year-round in winter and spring travel leagues and was named varsity captain her senior year. From the start, Madison excelled on the soccer field. She always looked to push herself to play at a higher level. In eighth grade, she was accepted to play on a U19 high school team, and anyone watching would never know she was much younger. We would like to congratulate Reagan and Madison and wish them good luck in college. Be safe. Honor to present this scholarship sponsored by the Agricultural Division of the New Jersey State Fair. The Sussex County Agricultural Society awards scholarships each year to deserving seniors who will be majoring in an agricultural field during their college years. Our goal as a society is to preserve agricultural history in Sussex County. One way in which they do this is through the Snook Museum at the fairgrounds where agricultural displays and demonstrations are shared. It's been an absolute pleasure working as this young man's school counselor for the last three years. An exceptional young man, he is self-directed, kind, compassionate, an amazing leader and role model for his teammates, both on and off the field and court. On behalf of the society, it is their pleasure to present a $1,000 scholarship to senior Travis Talame, who will be attending SUNY College of Agriculture and Technology at Cobleskill in the fall, majoring in an agricultural field. Congratulations, Travis. Hello, my name is Claudia Reffe. I'm the Director of Marketing and Member Services for Sussex Rural Electric Cooperative. I am here today to announce our winner of the Sussex Rural Electric Cooperative Trade Scholarship. The Trade Scholarship was created to place uh, students in the workforce, opening their future up to jobs in a field or a specialty. We are very, very proud to announce that the 2020 Trade Scholarship has been awarded to Alexander Foster, who will go into a commercial aviation program. Alexander will receive a $1,000 check from Sussex Rural Electric Cooperative to help out with his education. We wish you and all the graduates the very best of luck from all of us at Sussex Rural Electric Cooperative. Thank you and have a wonderful day. My name is Pam Gray and I am representing the Sussex Wanted Education Association. I was inspired as a child by my own parents who were educators at High Point Regional and all of these factors make me so excited to present this year's scholarship award to a man who was also inspired himself by his own parents. Nick Zaccoli, the senior who is receiving the award, spoke highly of his father's love of history being a part of what has promoted his own passion for it. Nick also spoke of his mother's dedication to her lifelong career as a teacher and having the privilege of being both her colleague and her friend, I know firsthand she has shown him an example of the hard work, dedication, drive, and compassion it takes to be an exceptional educator. I have no doubt he will follow in her footsteps and continue in the family of master teachers. I also heard from Mrs. Schrope, one of his teachers, who said he is a very smart young man with a good sense of humor, down to earth expectations, and he doesn't take him too seriously. He will definitely do well in a classroom. So it is with great pleasure, pleasure that I represent his former teachers at Sussex Wanage as we wish him at well, setting off on this new adventure to become part of our next generation of teachers. Congratulations, Nick Zaccoli. As a 1980 alumni of High Point Regional High School, I would like to congratulate the class of 2020. You have managed extraordinary times and not only endured, but succeeded with wonderful accomplishments. My name is Debbie Card and I am a teacher in the Sussex Wanage Regional School District. Today, I am representing the Sussex Wanage PTO as their vice president. For several years, myself and other members of the PTO board have had the honor of reading scholarship essays, and every year it gets harder to select four recipients. 
This year was no exception, and after finally narrowing it down, we voted to give out a fifth scholarship. The young ladies we chose had exceptional essays. They were not only accomplished academically, but gave to their community through various activities, including helping our PTO. Mostly their essays made it clear that these girls will make this world a better place because of a commitment to their future dreams. It is my privilege to give a $500 scholarship to each of the following young ladies. Renessa Gerbeshi, Sydney Hill, Abigail Lazier, Grace Muselli, and Rosalie Wilson. Congratulations to our recipients and best wishes for a wonderful future. Good evening and congratulations to all senior students and families. I hope that you and yours are well during this challenging time. My name is Mark Citro and I'm the head coach of the Sussex Wanda Wrestling Club. It is my distinct honor to present this scholarship tonight. Our recipient is someone who I was fortunate enough to coach a number of years ago in our program. Even as a youngster, he displayed many of the character traits that we hope to see in all of our young adults. He was kind and humble, hardworking and carefree, but most of all, he was a good teammate. He always looked out for the younger boys on the team, and they always looked up to him as a positive role model. He was a three-year letter winner on two state championship teams during his time at High Point. He was a member of the Outdoor Recreation and the Pass It Along clubs as well. He has a 3.67 grade point average and plans to continue his studies in business at Sussex County Community College, where he's considering continuing his wrestling career as well. After obtaining his degree, he hopes to continue to grow the family business which was founded in 1948 alongside his father. It's my pleasure to present a $1,000 scholarship tonight to PJ Saldano. Congratulations to PJ and all of our High Point seniors. The Soccer Ed Scholarship was formed in 1998 to foster, promote, educate, and advance the soccer culture within the High Point community. Through our camps and soccer league fundraising efforts, we have been able to provide the community with over $40,000 in scholarship opportunities over the past 23 years. I have had the honor and privilege to witness the transformation of tonight's recipients into exceptional civic-minded student-athletes. Their heart, desire, and willingness to make commitments have defined the philosophy of the Soccer Edge. Education, determination, greatness, and excellence. These are the characteristics we found in you. Collectively, these individuals have been publicly recognized as varsity letter winners, team captains, but most importantly, complete team players in multiple sports. They are high honor roll students and members of national honor societies. These focused future leaders are determined individuals that have the drive and ambition to succeed in whatever they pursue. They are the standard bearers, the role models for young eyes to watch and learn from. They are community-minded scholar athletes that have forged an invaluable legacy of service, honor, loyalty, and friendship. That is why the 2020 Soccer Edge Scholarship is awarded to Ryan Frieda and Ava Langenbach. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Trey Brownbridge, and this is my mom, Diane Brownbridge, and today we're going to be giving out the Teresa Ann Batafrano Scholarship. A little bit about Teresa. She graduated in 1979, was an avid softball player, and uh, English literature was her favorite topic and subject. So on that note, my family has uh, been awarding the scholarship for some years now, and we kind of like to gear it towards somebody that uh, has the same interests and someone who could use it, so. Uh, this year we're gonna be giving out the scholarship to Molly Van Stone. Congratulations. Congratulations, Molly, we love you. Hello, High Point, my name is Rob Roll and I will be presenting the Trooper Curtis Roll Memorial Scholarship. First and foremost, I hope that you and your families are safe and healthy during these unprecedented times. Also, I would like to congratulate all the seniors for being able to adapt and overcome all the obstacles we have been presented with this year. 
It truly will be one not forgotten. I don't want to date myself, but my brother and I were both High Point graduates. My brother in 2002 and myself in 2000. We both went on to becoming New Jersey State Troopers after college. But in 2008, my brother tragically lost his life in a snowmobile accident, along with his friend, Rebecca Skorupka, a Sparta High School grad. Not a day passes without thinking of him and how much of a positive influence that he had on everyone that he met. This scholarship helps his name to live on. Since the accident, a memorial scholarship has been created, and we have been able to give back to High Point graduating seniors for the past 12 years. On behalf of my family, I will be presenting four $2,000 scholarships this year. I also have a special guest, my son Royce Curtis Roll, that will read off the names of the recipients. Royce? The 2020 Trooper Curtis Roll Memorial Scholarship recipients are Devin Liebel, Nolan Rowan, Madison Presti, and Ethan Billings. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations to all the recipients. And hopefully one day soon, I'll be able to personally congratulate you. Go Wildcats! As a member of the Walker Valley Rotary, we are proud to support our community and recognize the class of 2020 for their service and dedication. The Walker Valley Rotary would like to present two scholarships. The first is a $500 scholarship to Sean Newmeyer. We would also like to present a $1,000 scholarship to Jonathan Coors. My name is Dave Vandergroof from Wantage Excavating. I'm a co-owner with my brother Chris. We're a local excavating and paving contractor. Tonight we'll be giving out three scholarships. What we look for in our recipients is uh, kids that have come from the local Christian schools and possibly going on to Christian colleges. So tonight's recipients are Ava Langenbach, Jonathan Coors, and Travis Talamay. This concludes our senior scholarship program this evening. Thank you for joining us tonight and celebrating our seniors. We miss everyone very much. And although we cannot be together, we will get through this together. Have a great night, everybody. Good night.